Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the Foot Soldier from the first wave of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Ultimate figures from Super 7. So right off the bat we can see the packaging here has this kind of manhole cover with the Foot Ninja head in the center and then you kind of have some detailing here. You have these blades uh, on the accents on the side. Otherwise it's kind of a raised embossed image which is pretty neat. Uh, taking a look at the back here you have the classic TMNT logo which I love. If we go ahead and slide off the top of the cover, you can see the foot soldier looking exactly like that original action figure did. I think they did such a good job with these. They just really nailed the toy likenesses <laughs> pretty much 100%. But you can see nice window box here, kind of like the uh, like brick aesthetic with the graffiti and everything. Uh, taking a look on the back here, you can see it says foot soldier. And then it's got a little description, so if you'd like to read that, Super 7 Nickelodeon logos on there as well. Not too much going on on the top or the bottom, just to get that classic TMNT logo again. So I think the packaging for these is really nice. I'm probably going to save this packaging <laughs> because it's really, really beautiful. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and get the foot soldier out of there so we can take a closer look. So here's the foot soldier out of the packaging, and I will say... They crushed it. He looks exactly like I remember the original Foot Soldier toy from when I was a kid. It's just a little bit upscaled, better articulation. They did such a good job nailing the likeness. Um, right out of the box, though, mine has kind of loose hips. And it's kind of weird because the front to back is very loose. But the out to the side is very tight. And the little connector piece of plastic that connects, you know, this joint that's in the hip to the kind of crotch area seems thin. And at first when I was trying to look at it, I thought it was already getting white with stress marks. I don't think that's the case. Um, but it's definitely very tight. And we'll see if you can actually get in there to see it. Um... It's probably not going to cooperate now. Maybe if I swivel that out of the way. Well, whatever. I'm not going to. I'm not going to tempt fate here. But it's just uh, that this was very, very tight, and it's still pretty tight uh, to get it to move out to the side in the hip. But I'm hoping over time it'll loosen. I feel like this one's already gotten a little loose. This one's still pretty tight, so I'm not going to mess with it too much. But as long as I'm ginger with it, I don't think it should be a problem. Uh, only time will tell, unfortunately, but articulation wise, the head can swivel as well as like at the base of the neck where the neck goes into the body. There's kind of like a ball joint there, as you can see. And then there's like a swivel as well. Um, I believe there's a swivel at the base of the head. No, maybe not. Maybe that's all the same joint. At first I thought it was two different things, but I think it's just that ball joint where it goes into the chest. Uh, you have a hinge in the shoulder as well as a swivel bicep swivel you have one elbow you have a rotation here in the wrist you also have uh, one where you have a ton of hands i'll show you those in a moment the hinge joint in the hand is also pretty tight but you can see it right there so i like to take it out just to show it off because it's it's really tight like this is really having difficulty moving and i guess i'm just gonna have to kind of do like a hair dryer situation or something to kind of loosen these up because I think over time they will get looser and easier to move about but you can see how simple it is to just pop that out and pop that back in and there's going to be um, a ton of hands that will pop out in a second and I'll show you all those he also has a waist swivel uh, the hips as I showed you front to back also out to the side there is a thigh swivel as well you have one joint in the knees and then you also have a swivel as well. It kind of looks, yeah, there we go. You do have a kind of boot swivel as well. Uh, you have a rock to the side and then front to back in the ankle. So he's got great articulation points. Like I said, it's just those hips definitely worry me over time. Hopefully they will stand up. See what I did there? Anyway, <laughs> he looks really, really good. Uh, let me show off all of the different accessories and whatnot. So... We've got a ton of hands. We've got uh, two, where's the other one? Uh, clenched fists. So right now he's kind of rocking a moderately closed grasping hand for accessories. So you've got two closed fists here. You've got two 
much larger open hands for accessories. You've got two like pose hands, like he's getting ready to do some meme pole or something. Uh, some Dragon Ball Z moves or something there. Uh, and then you just have kind of like two open karate chop hands. So got a ton of options. Uh, they all look great. Very easy to, to swap in and out. So that's pretty cool. And then we get to the other accessories. We have the claw chomp mace or whatever you call this. I definitely remember this from when I was a kid. Uh, the one, the original Playmates toy was wide enough that you could get it across like the whole uh, torso. But this one you can definitely just kind of have him put on his one shoulder just like that. But I think that's really cool. I'm glad they brought that accessory back. <laughs> I still don't really know what it is. But it's some kind of mace of some kind. Uh, speaking of maces, he's got this kind of whip accessory. Which I also remember from when I was a kid. And that looks pretty good. Um, this is a little bit... No, this is pretty soft. Well, I was going to say, it's, I was wondering if it was kind of a softer plastic. But it's pretty... It'll stand up. It'll definitely keep that shape. It might droop over time because it's a little bit heavier at the end. But it's pretty solid as far as the wire goes. Uh, we have two different blasters. We have a longer blaster. And then we have kind of the short handheld blaster. But both of them are sculpted very well. This one doesn't really have... I don't think that's paint. I think that's like a, a mark or something that's not supposed to be there. Like a paint chip or something. Uh, but both of these, this one has a tiny little bit of silver, but not a ton. You can see a little bit on this side as well. So, but I don't feel like they need a ton of paint, honestly. I think they're fine the way they are. I really like this one. I've always liked the design of this gun. And then he's got a uh, knife, which you can see is nicely painted silver. And then he's got two, uh, shuriken, which are also nicely painted silver. So pretty good as far as accessories go, I would say. Now, of course, he also has the weapons rack. Very similar to what you got with the original toy. And I'm so glad they did these. I know originally they were going to do just these. Uh, but then people kind of said, well, we want painted versions of the weapons as well. And I think it's kind of neat to have both because this is very nostalgic for me. Some of them are very similar. Like, honestly, this one is just a little bit darker gray. <laughs> um... Obviously, this one has more paint than this one over here, but I just love the idea of the weapons rack. It's very nostalgic, but I'm glad I can kind of keep it like this. I don't have to pull these off. So I'm glad to have it, but I also like that I can keep it like this. I will say that the temptation uh, with Raphael was, was much more strong to give him those kind of tannish brown weapons because that's what I had as a kid. But the painted weapons are very, very nice. So let's see, what should we give him here? How about... One of these blasters fits pretty nicely in the hand. Now, he's probably got a better hand that can use this. Let's see if I can actually get him to stand for a moment. How about the larger open hand? Uh, yeah, that should be good. Now, does the finger actually fit in the trigger spot? Kind of, but not really. Shockingly, that doesn't fit in as well as I would have hoped. It's not bad, but... Uh, let's see... No, I think these hands that he's rocking right now are probably the best for these accessories, these two guns. Well, let's see. How difficult is it to get this one in? Uh moderately we'll say <laughs> i guess it's not impossible but it's not it's not going great so i mean you can hold it it's not in all of his hands but holds it fairly well i do want to try this in the larger open hand and see if it makes a difference um kind of that's not bad i feel like it's still not great though Oops, sorry. It's not bad. It's not great, though. Honestly, I, I don't know. I'm assuming these are meant for the blasters, but I just feel like they're not perfect. Uh, one of these probably pretty easily held in one of these hands, I would have to guess. Let's see. Which one of these? 
I don't know, this seems kind of large too. Would this be better in one of these larger hands? Uh, no. Well, kind of. Again, it's a little loose though. I feel like this was definitely probably made for this, but you just kind of have to get it in there. Yeah, there you go. That He holds that well. That looks good like that. And I would think this hand would also be good for the blade. Let's see what we can do here. Sorry, sometimes it's easier just to kind of lay them down. There we go. Yeah, so he holds the blade in this hand very well. I don't know. I'm, see, the problem is I'm weary to pop these out to the side, but I feel like I need to to get a proper stance. I don't know. It's also weird, like, the way these knees go. Just because... I don't know. Do I need to... Maybe just balance a little bit, something like that. That's not bad. I don't know. I just... I, don't, I can't get a stance I like with the legs. And it might be because I'm too timid. Because I know that they're kind of wonky. Or I don't have much faith in their... And me snapping that peg off, I feel like it's only a matter of time the more I play with it. But I don't know, I just, I can't seem to get a, a pose that I like. Maybe if I could bend this out one without snapping this off. Maybe something like that. Maybe if I bend this like this. Yeah, that's not bad. Maybe something like that. It's better. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. It's not perfect, but it's better. So, I love the accessories. I really do. I think it's so fun that they included this. Even though I still don't really know what this is and it's not a super practical weapon. Uh, it came with the original toy, so I'm glad they included that. But I love the blasters. I just wish the blasters were kind of better held. Like, they give you these extra hands, which aren't bad. And I mean, they get the job done. I guess that's what they're meant for. But it just doesn't feel like they fit in there very well. Like They don't stay. You know what I mean? Especially with how tiny this handle is it feels like if it was meant for this hand they would have had the handle extend down to the bottom of the hand and then have the trigger finger come in and actually fit in the space that they've made i just don't know why it doesn't do that so i don't know that's weird to me but you can definitely get them into these two hands the, the kind of moderate gripping hands they hold these two weapons really nice uh, i like the karate chop hands and i really like uh, these kind of hands so you can put them in kind of a cool pose so i think that's kind of cool um so yeah i really like all the accessories i think the figure looks fantastic the only thing i'm slightly wary about is the uh, hips i'm hoping over time they don't turn out to be a problem i'm hoping that they uh loosen up a little bit so you can kind of pose them around a little bit more and feel more comfortable because i just i really don't want to snap these hips i don't want to bust off a leg while i'm trying to pose my figure but aesthetically they crushed it it looks exactly like that original toy and super 7 has really nailed that aspect all the accessories are great very reminiscent of the original toy i love all the extra fists that they gave you i just wish there were for all the different hands that we got i wish we got a better set of like trigger finger hands for um the guns that he comes with because i just feel like none of the hands are perfect some both of them are kind of okay but none of them are perfect so that's my only minor complaint, that and the hips. But other than that, great figure. Definitely recommend it. Just if you do decide to pick this up, definitely be a little careful with the hips. And maybe it's just mine. Maybe, you know, other ones will come right out of the package, no problem, and the hips will be looser. And I could probably try to take a hair dryer or something like that, maybe just to loosen it up, which I might do still. But yeah, really nice figure. Super 7 definitely nailed it, and I can't wait to check out the rest of these. I'm going to go ahead and put the packaging in the back here i love the packaging is so beautiful they they just crush it with every aspect of these like aesthetically the packaging the figures the accessories they really really do a nice job i i can't get over how much this looks exactly like that original toy i wish i had one handy to compare with you but um my original tmnt toys are in deep storage so <laughs> i would not be able to get to them anytime soon but uh, it just it looks so good. It really, really looks so good. And I'm I'm eager to get to Splinter and Baxter Stockman. I believe they arrived today, so I should have them soon. Um, but yeah, very, very excited to check those guys out. This guy's fantastic. Recommend picking these up. 
And I love and the the weapons rack. I think I just have to comment on this again because it's such a neat idea, and I'm really glad they did that. Uh, you get a ton of accessories with these guys, so I definitely recommend picking these up. But I would like I said for foot soldiers specifically, just be a little ginger with those hips, and I think you should be fine. I don't really think they're in danger of snapping. I just be very careful with them. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.